earlier this year, two laboratories published studies of new variants of H5N1 avian flu viruses that were made transmissible in the laboratory between ferrets and therefore might well be transmissible from human to human. That research was controversial and has sparked a debate about whether such research should be published and also whether it should be permitted in the future and if so under what circumstances. With Barry Bloom, former dean of Harvard School of Public Health, I've written an article in that debate which will be published on October 9th and in this article we take the position that such infectious agents, which have been called potential pandemic pathogens, deserve extreme caution in deciding whether or not to work with them. Our argument is that these viruses almost uniquely combine extremely high virulence or risk to those who are infected with potentially high transmissibility from human to human. That combination of transmissibility and virulence leads us to argue that many experiments that people would like to do on these viruses just aren't worth the risk. As a scientist, it's not something I like to propose that research should be limited. The main thing is that for viruses that really have a potential to cause a global pandemic of a severe disease, we have to take a level of caution which says for each experiment or each proposed research project, is the knowledge that might come out of this worth the risk that we would be taking by doing that experiment? So what we're really saying is that instead of, of a, a process of evaluate the science and then do the containment that's necessary, it's a, a question of weighing a risk and deciding whether the science, interesting and important as it may be, is really worth that risk.